last one kind of left a burning back of my throat. Mm -hmm. This one, yeah. No, ooh, ooh. Hello everyone from Trojan Digital Media, I'm Sean Park and you're watching Hot Ones. It's a show of hot questions and even hotter ways. Today I'm here with Jimmy Candela. He's a history student teacher at our school, a natural born Canadian, and apparently can handle the spice. Mr. Candela, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. How are you with spicy food? Uh, I'm pretty good. Uh, when I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, I get the blazing. It's not good. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but I like what it does uh, to my biology. It makes me feel alive. <laughs> This is good, it's tangy. It's got some like a fruit to it. Well, how's it like being a teacher at Five High School? Well, I'm gonna correct it because I'm not a teacher, I'm a substitute teacher. Hmm. And I'm currently uh, observing so I can student teach so I can become a teacher. Oh. But subbing's great. Yeah, best job I've had so far. Do you have any memories from when you were hard of hearing? Mm. Uh, so I had my ears popped when I was four or five, so that's when hearing was restored fully. Uh, prior to that though, I don't think too many people remember things when they were four or younger. Uh, the way I've had to describe it is, uh, you know when you're underneath a pool in the water? That's how my hearing was uh, during my formative years uh, as a child. Uh, but then I had speech therapy all the way up through fifth grade, so. No, it's good. I like habanero. How does this treat you? Oh, it's pretty sweet. In our research, we have discovered your IMDB account and uncovered your personal filmmaking abilities. Why haven't you decided to pursue, pursue your short film career? Uh, there isn't really a short film career. Uh, I do short films with my buddies from college. Uh, I have a film production degree from Central. Um, no, I never particularly wanted to pursue that career. Either you have to go to Vancouver or uh, LA. Both are wildly expensive, so I didn't want to go there. I graduated college in the recession, so I didn't have any money. Um, so I ended up uh, working as a para for a few years and then drifted into subbing. And now I like uh, subbing. I like education. But yeah, uh, no, if I was going to break into the industry, I'd have to go to Atlanta or uh, somewhere in the deep south. Unique flavor. Mm hmm. That is spicy. The last one kind of left a burning back of my throat. Mm -hmm. This one, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Continuing on your film career, mm -hmm. what was the best and worst moments during your productions? And what is your favorite film you have made? Uh, my best moment would probably be uh, my first year that I really helped out my uh, film group, my classmates in college. Seattle and other cities across the nation and colleges have a thing called a 48 hour film competition where you're given a genre and uh, different items and then 48 hours later you have to turn in a short movie. Oh. Uh, so we did that. We constructed it off of a uh, RAM. Kind of the, the what story coming from a different perspective. We, we did that a couple more times. It's an easy uh, kind of structure to a short movie. Uh, but that's probably the best, just because we cleaned house at the uh, the awards that year at Central. Um, worst wise, uh, I don't know. I ran uh, like basically what you guys do here. I did that for Central, uh, but we were doing uh, thirty minute like public broadcast uh, variety specials. And the worst thing is you would assign somebody a bit or a segment, and they would just drop out. They just wouldn't deliver anything. So suddenly I would have to scramble. So I used to do these cartoons produced in MS Paint. They're not good. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I needed to fill seven minutes, so I would make a seven minute cartoon. Well, I'm gonna start uh, indulging in the milk. That's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, that's good. 
Now, I heard in tradition, but we decided to switch it up a little bit. For us, over here at Five Pine, it is tradition to sprinkle a little bit of, of the capsaicin powder under the Seems a place. bit much, but okay. You don't have to use the normal water. You don't have That's to. a dumb goad. <laughs> but, you know, you can't do anything. You don't have to. I'm just gonna do it. If you wanna. Question or I sure do. Gotta, gotta think about it while I, while I eat this guy. What do you think about your students and your classes? Ah, oh, they're great. Uh, I have Mr. Shelbert as my mentor teacher this year, so the kids in those classes are great. I don't do his uh, strength and conditioning class because I'm not endorsed in PE, so it wouldn't make sense. But uh, they're all pretty great. Any final words? Oh, that's awful. Uh, no, thanks for having me. Uh, I figured it was a, a cheap meal, so yeah. <laughs> Mr. Candela, thank you very much for joining us on our first episode of Hot Ones. Stay tuned for Soonest Edition. Shine, make them wonder what you got. Make them wish that they were not on the outside looking born. Oh, they cut. Hey! Hey, I just want to say as a gift for doing it, you won in a minion. Okay. I'm not, I'm not finishing that. <laughs> Come on, okay, you no. got it, you got it. No. No. Okay, uh, we're going to put this last bit in where you said you didn't finish it. It's going in. It's disgusting. It's going in. Uh, wait, 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 hang on. Uh, uh. Hang on. There we are. <laughs> hey. Now you're truly one of the minions. Oh my gosh, that is that. <laughs> you, you had a good job of hyping that, yeah. though. Yeah. Thank you. you the one? Yeah, we're good.